All right, so the flow for today is going to take us toward a one-legged crow, so just keep in mind this is going to take a lot of core engagement um, and work into the upper body quite a bit as well. With your bent arm strength, get into the shoulders, the upper back, so just keep all that in mind. I have two demonstrations before we begin. The first one here is the one-legged crow itself. So once we get in the main part of the flow, every sequence will bring you to the front of the mat. As usual, we'll take this into crow and we'll take it from a forward fold. So you have both hands down, hands shoulder width, dig your fingertips into the floor. Lift your heels, bring the knees to your arms. We're going to go from the full crow to the one-legged crow. And just see about shifting your weight and take it as far as you can. You don't have to take it all the way to the extremes of the pose. But as you come into your crow, dig your fingertips down, bring the knees to your arms. Look forward, lean, keep your hips high. Lift your feet together, bring the toes to touch, pull the heels up close. And then from here, I'll tell you which side to start to lean towards. So I'm going to bring my weight over to the right and lift my left knee. Now maybe you just lift it a little bit and that's fine. You can set it back down. You can do this a few times. That's going to be a lot of effort by itself. If you can take it further, keep the knee lifted. See about pulling that leg over to the other side. So my left leg squeezing toward the right. And keep your head low. Keep your hips up high. If you can go further still, take it slow. You can extend that lifted leg up and back. Just feel this out. Take it as far as you can. And try to hold that for at least three breaths before you move through the vinyasa from there. So just work it as best you can. Just shifting the weight by itself is a lot, and this is a very tough pose, even though it doesn't look that different from your regular crow. So when you come into it, go slowly, see how far you can take things, keep your body tense, and just take the version that's actually gonna work for you today. So there's gonna be a lot of prep before we go into that. Be honest with, your, with where you're actually at before you try that pose. Um, and one other demonstration here before we start. Now at the beginning of the flow, you know, starting down with facing dog, and then to begin, you can bring one leg up. We'll go back and forth a few times, but eventually you pull your knee to your chest, hold for a moment, and then bring your foot down about halfway down the mat, the other leg pulled into your chest. And you're setting this up for a half tuck position, which means you're going to have one knee bent with one foot on the floor. So that bent knee, pull the thigh in toward your belly. Keep your arms vertical, shoulders or wrists, and just try to keep the arms in place like this. Keep looking down. And you're just going to go back and forth, hopping from one foot to the next. So I'm going to press in my right foot. And keep in mind, I've got the heel lifted so I can stay springing. So press into the base foot and land on the other and just keep on going back and forth. Now, this might not be that much of a hop and that's fine, but keep your weight forward on your hands, keep your fingertips pressing down and you're going to take a lot of weight on the hands. This is much more difficult than it looks when you watch somebody else. Now, if you can take things further and you're used to this kind of thing, the real show of strength while you do this is to make the transition slow and come down as lightly as you can when you're switching feet. And it's hard enough that I can't really talk very well while I'm doing that because you're pulling your belly in, everything's pulled in close. We'll go through a few rounds and then we'll move to the, in, into the rest of the sequence from there. So just keep that in mind. So to get this started, bring yourself down onto your back. And to set this up, I'm going to recommend you keep your feet on the floor. A little bit wider than your hips, lean the knees toward each other. This will help release your low back down to the mat. And then with the arms, just bring them out to your sides, palms up and toward the ceiling, maybe with your hands past your head, maybe pulling the elbows further toward your waist, whatever works best. But let your shoulders sink toward the floor, let your chest open up. And then just close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this, let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing here. So the inhale's pulling as much as you can. Fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slowly your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as the inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this to begin. Now, when you're ready, you take a deep inhale. And when you exhale, just open your eyes. And go slow. With an inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And with the exhale, just bring your arms down to your sides. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach long. 
Now on the exhale, bring the arms down, but then curl up as well. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. Just stay lifted here for a moment. And we'll go back and forth from here. With your next inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl forward. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward again. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl forward. Stretch through your fingertips. Inhale, roll out long. Now with the exhale, curl, but reach to the right of your legs. Inhale, roll this out. And then with the exhale, curl left. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl right again. Inhale, roll out. Exhale, curl to the left side. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl right. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl left one more time. Inhale, roll out long. And then with the exhale, this time curl forward. Stay lifted. Now keep looking forward. Stretch through your fingertips. Bring the shoulders up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, take hold of your knees. Pull them into your chest. Relax your head down. And squeeze everything down. Try to press your spine down toward the floor. And then take an inhale here. And with the exhale, just release your grip and extend all four limbs up toward the ceiling. Belly pulled in, low back on the floor, stay loose. And then roll out your wrists, roll out your ankles, move your fingers and toes, and just let your joints crack as they need to crack for a moment. And then go straight up. Reach your fingertips and toe tips toward the ceiling. Belly pulled in, low back down. And then from here, just keeping your arms and legs as straight as you can, go ahead and scissor your arms and legs side to side. And reverse the cross as you go back and forth. Be sure your low back stays on the floor. You can take it out wide. You can keep it through a narrow range. And just take it at your own speed, but keep it smooth. And then come back to center. All four limbs at vertical. Stretch up through the fingertips and toe tips. Now reach your right arm past your head about 45 degrees. Left leg forward about 45 degrees as well. Keep your low back down, and then switch with the left arm past your head, right leg forward, and just keep on switching, and go back and forth. Now you can go through a longer or shorter range, but take it at your own speed, and again, keep it smooth, keep it steady, just keep on moving. And give it just a couple more rounds. Now try to finish this with the left arm past your head before you come back to center. All four limbs vertical. Now keep your legs reaching up, but then lift your head and bring your hands behind your head. Now interlace your fingers, palms open, elbows wide enough pressure from your hands that you can keep looking toward your thighs without straining your neck. Keep your belly pulled in, keep the low back on the floor, and keep your legs as straight as possible. If you've got to bend the knees, start with the ankles stacked over your hips. And then from here, just bring the right heel down as low as you can without your low back lifting. Come back up the vertical. Bring your left heel down. And then lift back up. Right heel down again. Come back up the vertical. Lower your left heel. And lift back up. Now bring your right heel down as low as you can hold. Your low back's on the floor. You're still looking forward. Hold that tension in your belly and then pulse the right heel up and down. So from here, five, four, three two, one. Bring that right leg high. Lower the left heel to where you can hold. Low back stays down. And pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Left leg high. Bring your right heel down again. Belly pulled in. Low back down. And pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg high. Bring your left heel down. Hold here. And then pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Left leg high. Bring your right heel down, just hold. And then five, four, three, two, one, right leg high. Bring your left heel down, hold here. And pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, left leg high. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release. Keep the hands behind your head, but bring your head down. Bring your feet to the floor about hips with distance apart. And then once you're down, keep your shoulders grounded and twist. Fold your knees right. And then left, and just go back and forth. Let go of some of that tension in your midsection. And then just bring this back to center with your feet set flat. Now, we're going to set this up for a variation of bridge here. It's so the feet and knees about hips with distance apart. 
and bring your arms down to your sides, palms to the floor. Keep your gaze high and we'll take it up and down. So then inhale, press your feet, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. With the exhale, roll down. Inhale, press your hips up high. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, bring this back down. Inhale, press your hips high. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll this down. Inhale, press up high. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up one more time. Hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing. Keep your hips lifted like this. And we're going to take this into a twist. So with your hips still high, lift your right hand up off the floor. Now reach your right arm past your head up into the left and try to stack your shoulders. The glutes are still engaged. And then come back to center with the right arm down, hips are still high. Lift your left hand. Reach up and to the right. Work to stack your shoulders here. And then come back to center, hips are still lifted. Right arm reaches up and to the left and twist. And then come back to center. Reach your left arm up and to the right. Keep your hips up high. And then bring this back to center. Right arm up and to the left again. Back to center here. Left arm up and to the right. And then come back to center. Now keep your hips lifted. Take it a little bit higher. Squeeze your glutes. Dig into your heels. Take an inhale. Exhale. Bring it all back down. Once you're down, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees. Squeeze in tight. And as you're squeezing this in, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Bring your nose close to your knees. And once you're curled up, just roll this up to a seat. Now, once you bring yourself up, draw the thighs in close, lean back and hover your feet above the floor and take this into boat. Now, sit this up tall, keep the thighs pulled in close, and then release your grip, bring your shins toward parallel with the floor. Now, hands to heart center, still sit this up tall, and keep the legs where they are. Low body stays as is as we twist, but take it slow. Now, turn, open your chest to the left as far as you can go, and then through center, open your chest up to the right, keep the legs in place. Back through center, still balance here. Open your chest to the left side. Through center, open your chest up to the right again. Now back through center, open up to the left one more time. Keep your balance. Now go further. Left hand stays where it is. The right hand, take hold of the knee. Maybe reach for your left foot and twist a little bit deeper to the left side. And then come back through center over to the right one more time. Keep your right hand by your chest. With your left hand, maybe hold the right knee and twist deeper. Maybe reach for that right foot and twist deeper like this. You're still balancing. And then go ahead, turn this back into center. Now from center, reach forward. Reach between the knees, take hold of your big toes. Use that grip and sit up tall. Try to keep your spine toward vertical. Now maybe just hold here and this is good enough. Keep your legs pulled in close. And then if you want to go further still, maybe lift your feet a little bit. Maybe extend your legs up even higher, but keep your low back pressing forward. Try to keep your spine toward vertical. Hold your balance. Now as you hold this, here's the hard part. Tense up your thighs, try to tense up your core. Keep the legs pulled in close. But try to hold this shape, but very slowly just release your grip. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, cross up the ankles, come forward, your hands into all fours. And once you're in all fours, take a moment here, move around, stretch your hands, stretch your fingers, let the shoulders and hips move side to side and just feel things out. And just notice why you're loose and why you're tight. And then we'll take this into the wrist from here. Now just keep your hips stacked over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. Look down with the palms facing down. Rotate your fingertips out to the side and then in toward your knees as far as you can go. Now set your hands down flat. Spread your fingers out wide. Dig your fingertips down. Press your spine up toward the ceiling. And just start this out. Circle your shoulders over your wrists and keep that grip. Feel that stretch. Let it move through the wrists and up into the forearms. Now, this is enough, but if you want to take it further, just come into center, keep your spine lifted and keep gripping. And move your legs one at a time, but keep your knees bent. Now, I want you to lift your right heel up toward the ceiling high as you can. And then twist, bring the right big toe down to the left as low as you can go. And then come back to center, bring that knee down. Left heel up high, lift up, you're still gripping. Left big toe down to the right, let your body twist. Come back to center, again, keep your knees bent. Lift the right heel high as you can go. Bring the right big toe down to the left side. And then come back to center. Lift your left heel up high. Left big toe down to the right again. And then both knees down, back to center. Right heel up high, you're still gripping the floor. Right big toe down to the left, let your body twist. And then go ahead, bring that knee back down. Lift the left heel high. And then bring your left big toe down to the right. And then come back to center one more time. Now come up onto the fingertips. 
And then from here, we're going to take one more wrist stretch, but we'll do this one hand at a time. So we're going to start with the right hand. Now flip the right hand over, back of the hand down, palm up, the fingertips point to the left side of the mat. And you can bring the hand in closer, have it further forward. Now I want you to slide your right hand to the left, to the left side of the mat. Left hand sets on top of the right to help flatten it out. Now keep the fingers of the right hand spread wide. Keep your fingertips pressed down. Try to keep that arm straight. And then maybe just stay here. You can circle the shoulder over your wrist. Just feel things out. Now, if you can take this further, this is leading toward a modified side plank. So for that, go ahead and step the left foot behind the right, just an option. If you can take it further, lift the left foot up off the floor. Hold here. And if you can move with this, bring that left knee forward toward your elbow and extend the leg back. Bring the knee forward again and extend the leg back. Left knee forward. Extend the leg back again. Pull the knee in close and extend your leg back. Left knee forward one more time. Extend the leg back one more time, and then bring the knee down. Go ahead, release the right hand, shake it out for a moment. And we'll take this on the other side. So back to all fours from here, and look down at your left hand this time. Flip the hand over, back of the hand down, palm up, the fingertips point toward the right side. Now slide the left hand to the right edge of the mat, and set it down flat. Right hand on top of the left to help flatten it out. Now keep your fingertips pressing down, try to keep the arm as straight as you can. You can bring the hand in closer or keep it further forward. Maybe stay here and circle the shoulder over the wrist and that's enough. Now if you want that modified side plank, step the right foot behind the left, stack your hips. And if you can balance, lift the right foot up off the floor. Now if you can move with this, bring that right knee forward toward your elbow and extend the leg back. Knee to elbow, pull in close. Extend the leg back again. Knee to elbow, extend the leg back, bring the knee in close, and extend this back. Pull the knee toward the elbow one more time, extend the leg back one more time, bring the right knee down, and then go ahead and release. Come up onto the fingertips and down onto your heels. Take a moment, shake your hands out, loosen your fingers and loosen your wrists. All right, once the hands are ready, come back into all fours. And then from here, we'll take this into a forearm plank. So when you're ready, bring your forearms down to the floor. Now you can have the forearms parallel with the palms down or press the palms together, whatever works best. Keep your elbows at shoulder width. And then step your feet back. Bring your body in the line, feet about hips with distance apart. Now keep your hands pressing down. Lift your spine up toward the ceiling and keep that lift. And just hold here. Keep your core braced. Now to take it further, pull your right knee forward toward your chest. Pull it in as close as you can. And then step that foot back. Bring the left knee in close and step back, right knee forward for two. Step it back again, bring your left knee forward, and step back, right knee forward for three. Step it back, bring your left knee forward, and step back, right knee forward for four. Step it back, bring the left knee forward, and step back, right knee forward for five. Step it back, bring the left knee forward, and step back, right knee forward for six. Step it back, bring your left knee forward. Step back, bring the right knee forward for seven. Step it back, bring the left knee forward. And step back, right knee forward for eight. Step it back, bring the left knee forward. Step back, right knee forward for nine. Step it back, bring your left knee forward. And step back, right knee forward for ten. Step it back, bring your left knee forward. Step back, and then set your knees down. Then come up to all fours, just move around. Take a couple breaths here. All right, one more thing before we move on from this part, and this is going to take this further into the shoulders. Now, I want to take this into a, Russian, a modified Russian push-up. So to set this up, just keep your hips stacked over your knees and bring your knees together. Shoulders or wrists, press into your palms, and rotate your fingers to the side so the middle fingers are right or left at least 45 degrees. Now, just press into the palms, bring the shoulders past the wrists, keep your spine lifted here to start. And what's going to happen, you're going to bend the elbows. Once they bend, when they come halfway down like chaturanga, be sure the elbows are squeezing toward your ribs rather than winging to the sides. And that is really what's going to build strength. Now dig your fingertips down, look forward, and we'll go back and forth from here. So shoulders forward, squeeze your elbows in, lower halfway down, hold here, keep that forward lean. And then pull your weight back, bring the elbows down to the floor. Now shift your weight forward, elbows are bent, think chaturanga, hold here. And then press this up to straight. And we'll do two more rounds. Shoulders forward as our elbows in, come down halfway. And then pull your weight back and bring the elbows down to the floor. Shift your weight forward, keep your elbows squeezing in. And then press it up the straight. One more round. Shoulders forward, elbows in, come down halfway. Bring your weight back and bring the elbows down to the floor. Now shift your weight forward, squeeze your elbows in like this. Press back up the straight. 
I'll just take a couple breaths, move around. Now keep in mind, leaning forward, the combination of leaning forward and keeping your elbows squeezing in is really what builds strength while you do this. And this is hard enough doing the, um, the modified variation with your knees on the floor, so you're welcome to stick with that. If you can take it further, if you want the full shape, you do it with straight legs. For that, step your feet back and bring your legs together. And that's just an option, keep in mind. If having the knees down is hard enough, stick with that. And this will bring you, straight legs will take you from plank, chaturanga, and dolphin. Now either way, just set it up, knees down or knees lifted. Press in your palms, dig your fingertips down. And we'll take one more set of this. Now shoulders forward, elbows in, lower halfway down and hold. Now bring your weight back, elbows come down to the floor. Shift your weight forward, keep your elbows squeezing in like this. And then press up to straight. Again, shoulders forward, elbows in, halfway down. Bring your weight back, elbows down to the floor. Shift your weight forward, keep your elbows squeezing in. And then press up to straight. One more time. Shoulders forward, elbows in, come down halfway. Bring your weight back, elbows down to the floor. Shift your weight forward, squeeze your elbows in. Press back up to straight. And then relax. And come down to sitting on your heels. Take a moment, roll your shoulders out, shake your hands out, stay loose. Now you can just take a couple and take a break and breathe here, or maybe take another stretch before you move on. But when you're ready, bring your hands down, tuck your toes, bring your hips up high, and find your downward facing dog. Now, once you move into the down dog, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Press your palms flat so you can feel weight toward the base of your thumbs. Now, sink your chest down low, but reach your hips up as high toward the ceiling as you can. And just keep that long upward reach, pulling through the belly around the low ribs. Use your core to help lengthen your spine, draw in from the waist, and keep your hips reaching high as you can. Now, if your legs are tight, just go ahead, let that go, bend your knees. Maybe paddle out, let your hips move side to side, you can keep it loose. When you're ready, here, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward, step to the front, take a ragdoll fold. Now feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees, let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang, let your spine round. And let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles in your neck relax. You can hang your hands down or reach to the elbows, maybe shake side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep the bend in the knees to begin and then restack your spine slowly around this up to standing. Bring your head up last and just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart center. Now take a moment here to breathe. Set an intention. Let your mind clear. Find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now at the next inhale, reach your arms up high. With the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, start with the straight spine, put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and release at the bottom. With an inhale, lift up halfway, fingertips to the floor, or to the shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat, and let's step it back to high plank. Now find your shape, wrist the shoulders, palms, press to the floor, press the floor away from you. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep that lift. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now keep your body in line. Elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control all the way down into your belly. Once you're down, flatten the feet up behind you. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And we'll take this up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time and just stay lifted here. Now keep the lift in the upper body. Press your feet down, squeeze your glutes. And then take some more all the way out of your hands. Elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back. Now keep your gaze forward and then lift this up a little bit higher still. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll it back down. Now hands under the shoulders, elbows in at your sides. Press the palms to the floor. And we'll take it to upward facing dogs. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward, let your hips hang, stand the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active and lift your knees. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes and pull the hips forward to help deepen and lengthen the arc all through the front. Lift with your arms, lift with your shoulders, keep your neck long, keep your chest pulling forward. 
pengen in här. Och det är så på i vägen. Hips är på det där dag. Paddle out. Let your hips move side to side. Now let's take it to the sun salutation. See a steady move and take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, to standing, reach the arms up high. With the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift here. And with the exhale, hands to the mat. Chaturanga's next. High plank to low. With an inhale, open up your chest, lift your gaze, up dog or cobra. Exhale, pull your belly and hips high to down dog. And we'll take two more rounds, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, a standing, reach up high. Exhale, all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, hands to the floor, high plank to lows next. With an inhale, open up, pull it forward. With the exhale, draw it on and lift your hips up. One last round, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, to standing, reach us up high. Exhale, all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift here. And with the exhale, set the hands, chaturanga. With an inhale, open up, draw forward. Exhale, pull it back in, bring your hips back up. And just find your downward facing dog, breathe here. Now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And move into your scorpion dog. So bend the right knee, hang your right foot, left stack your hips. Now with an inhale, straighten your right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, twist, knee to left elbow. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow, stay forward like this, stay lifted. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, set the right foot down, halfway down the mat. Pull the left knee to your chest and round your spine. We're taking that half tuck. Now press in your palms, dig your fingertips down, shoulders or wrists. Keep your gaze down, keep your arms vertical. And keep this light. Lift your right heel and go back and forth. Press into the right foot, land on the left. Press into your left foot, come down on the right. Press into the right foot, land on the left. Press into your left foot, land on the right. Now press into the right foot, land on the left one more time. Right foot between your hands, slide the left foot back, come into low lunge. And from here, we'll take a dancer's bridge. The left hand's your base. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot. Right foot steps behind your left leg, sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up high, reach your right arm. Now keep on reaching, keep your glutes squeezing. And you can stack your shoulders so it's more like side plank. Or open your chest further toward the ceiling. Just stay lifted here. Take an inhale. With the exhale, sink straight down. Right hand forward, right foot forward, low lunge. Bring it down lower, left knee down, left foot flat behind. Now sink your hips down, press them forward. And then when you're ready, open this up with an inhale, reach up and back, gaze up high. Now as you open up through the front, feel that length on the left side from your left knee through to the shoulders. Let your hips sink forward and down. And if you can take it further, kick your left foot into the floor and maybe just try to barely hover that left knee. Just take it to where you can. Now take an inhale here. With the exhale, bring your hands down around the right foot. Tuck the toes of your left foot, lift your left knee up to low lunge. And we're going to take this as a grounded twist. Now your left hand becomes a fist. Press into the floor inside your right leg. Take a half bind right on behind your back, palm facing away. Stack the right shoulder above the left. Now go ahead and look down the length of your left arm. Keep your gaze forward. Press into the right foot. Try to hover your left hand. Now up and down. Hinge from the hips. And bring this to vertical. Right shoulder back, left arm forward. And then hinge forward, lightly touch your left hand down. Press into the right foot, lift up. Right shoulder back, left arm forward. Hinge forward and bring the left hand to the floor. Press into your right foot, lift up. Right shoulder back, left arm forward. Hinge forward, lightly touch your left hand down. Press into the right foot, lift up. Right shoulder back, left arm forward. And then hinge forward one more time, touch that left hand down. Press into the right foot, lift up, right shoulder back, left arm forward, stay here. 
Now square your chest to the front. Bring both hands together at your left side. Interlace the fingers, palms to touch, shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open. And then take this as a pyramid stance. Put the weight to the right foot. Left foot comes forward one pace behind the right. So just shorten this up. So about three feet front to back, hips with distance side to side. So your hips are still squared. Both feet flat, both legs straight. Left foot points to the side a little bit. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. Keep your chest open. And then we'll take the stretch into the back of the right thigh. Take an inhale here. Now with the exhale, leave with your chest. Hinge from the hips, come toward halfway down. Keep your gaze forward. Inhale, bring yourself up all the way. Exhale, hinge forward again, just a halfway fold. Inhale, bring yourself all the way upright. Now with the exhale, hinge toward halfway one more time. Hold here. Right hip back, left hip forward. Keep your gaze forward. Keep breathing. And we're going to take this toward a twist. Now I want you to put a deep end on the right knee. Your hips are still squared. Release your left hand and bring the left arm past your right thigh to brace this. Draw the right shoulder back, open up your chest to the right. You're still with that halfway fold, trying to keep your spine toward parallel with the floor. Now stack the shoulders best you can. Look up toward the ceiling. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Maybe even straighten the right leg if you can take it deeper. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly bring yourself upright and bring your hands together at the left side again. Palms to touch, fingers and lay, shoulders pulled back. Put the weight to the right foot. Lift your left heel, slide the left foot back and find that lunge stance again. Now your hips are squared forward, keep your chest open like this. We're going to go back and forth to balancing. So when you're ready, bring the weight to the right foot. And then left heel to right knee, just hold here. Sink down, left knee to right calf. And then step it back, come into the lunge. Again like that, come forward, left heel to right knee. Sink down, left knee to right calf, and then step it back, find the lunge. Bring it forward again, left heel to right knee, just hold. Sink down, left knee to right calf, hold here. And then bring yourself up to vertical with your left knee high. Now once you're ready here, just switch feet. Set the left foot down, come to standing with your right knee high. Now dig your left big toe into the floor. Once you're stable, just release your hands, bring them to your hips. I'm going to take this into dancer from here. So right knee lines up with the left, reach back with the right hand. Find the inside edge of your right foot. Once you've got that grip, line up your knees. Now keep your gaze forward, reach your left arm high. And then to take this further, kick into the right hand, lean forward against the tension of the kick. Pull the right shoulder forward, keep your gaze forward. And keep breathing here, just take this as deep as you can control. All right, take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly release to a forward fold. Both hands down, bring the right foot down. Now from your fold, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. And with the exhale, set your hands, we're gonna take it down to crow. So palms to the floor, dig your fingertips down, heels up. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward, lean, take it slow, keep your hips high. And then lift your feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels in toward your seat. Now taking it to the one legged crow, shift your weight to the left. See about lifting your right knee. Maybe squeeze the right leg to the left. And if you can go further, you can extend that right leg up and back. Just take it slow. When you're ready, take a the vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, paddle out and breathe here. All right, taking that to the other side. When you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend your left knee, hang the left foot right, scorpion dog, stack the hips. With an inhale, straighten that left leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, twist, knee to right elbow. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow, stay forward like this, stay lifted. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, set the left foot down, halfway down the mat, pull the right knee to your chest, find that half tuck. Now press into your palms, dig your fingertips down, shoulders over the wrist, keep your arms vertical. And let's go back and forth, press into the left foot, land on the right. Press into your right foot, come down on the left. Press into the left foot, land on the right. Press into the right foot, land on the left. Press into the left foot, land on the right, one more time. 
Step the left foot between your hands, slide the right foot back, come into low lunge. And then from here to your dancer's bridge, right hand to your base. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot, left foot steps behind the right leg, sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up high, reach to your left arm. Now squeeze your glutes, keep your hips pressing up, and just let your head fall back, breathe here. Now take a deep inhale. With the exhale, sink straight down. Left hand forward, left foot forward, back to your low lunge. And then bring the right knee down and flatten the right foot behind you. Now sink your hips down, press them forward. And when you're ready, open this up with an inhale. Reach this up and back, gaze up high. And let your hips sink low. Just breathe into this here. Now lengthen out the front of your body from the right side, right knee through to the shoulders. If you can go deeper, kick the right foot down. Try to hover your right knee. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring both hands down around the left foot. Tuck the toes of the right foot. Lift the right knee back to low lunge. Take this into your grounded twist. Right hand's a fist. Press into the floor inside your left leg. Bring the left arm behind your back. Half bind. Palm face away. Stack the shoulder as best you can. Left shoulder above the right. Look down the length of the right arm. Press into your left foot. Try to hover that right hand. Back and forth from here. Hinge from the hips. Lift up. Left shoulder back. Right arm forward. And then hinge forward. Lightly touch your right hand down. Press into your left foot, lift up, left shoulder back, right arm forward. Hinge forward and touch the right hand to the floor. Press into your left foot, lift up, left shoulder back, right arm forward. Hinge forward, touch the right hand down again. Press into your left foot, lift up, left shoulder back, right arm forward. Now hinge forward one more time and touch the right hand down. Press into your left foot, lift up, left shoulder back, right arm forward, stay here. And then square your chest to the front. Bring both hands together to the right side. Palms to touch, fingers in lace, shoulders still pulled back. And then shorten your stance. Bring the weight to the left foot. Right foot forward, one pace behind the left. So again, about three feet front to back, hips with this inside to the side. So your hips are still squared. Both feet flat, right foot points to the side. Keep your legs straight. Right hip forward, left hip back. Now keep your chest open. Take an inhale here. And with the exhale, hinge from the hips. Lead your chest, come toward halfway down. Inhale, bring yourself up all the way. Exhale, hinge forward toward that halfway fold. Inhale, bring yourself all the way upright. Now the exhale, hinge toward halfway down one more time. Hold here. Left hip back, right hip forward. Move into your twist. Put a deep bend in your left knee. Right arm, bring it outside your left thigh. Now use that to brace the twist. Pull the left shoulder back. Look to the left. And you're still trying to keep that halfway fold of your spine toward parallel at the floor. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. Gaze up high if you can. Maybe go further and straighten your left leg as you're twisting. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just bring yourself upright. Hands together at the right side again. Interlace the fingers, keep your shoulders pulled back. Put the weight to your left foot. Slide your right foot back and come into that lunge. Now right hip forward, left hip back. Keep your chest open like this. And let's go back and forth from here to balancing. Put the weight to the left foot. Come forward, right heel to the left knee. Hold your balance here. Sink down, right knee to left calf. Hold this. Step it back, find your lunge. Come forward again, right heel to the left knee. And then sink down, right knee to left calf. Step it back to the lunge. Bring it forward, right heel to left knee. And then sink down, right knee to left calf. Now this time, bring yourself up to standing with your right knee high. All right, let's go ahead and switch this out. Set the right foot down. Come to standing with your left knee lifted. Take a moment, find your balance. Keep the right big toe anchored. And then just bring your hands to your hips and we'll take this into dancers. So line the left knee up with the right. Reach right back with your left hand. Find the inside edge of your left foot. Line up your knees. Keep your gaze forward. Reach your right arm high. And then kick into your left hand. Lean against the tension of the kick. Pull your left shoulder forward. Keep your gaze forward. And again, just take this as deep as you can control here. Keep your balance. Keep breathing. All right, slowly from here, take an inhale. With the exhale, release to a forward fold. Both hands down, bring your left foot down. And then once you're ready, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. With the exhale, set your hands, let's bring it to crow. Dig your fingertips down, bring the heels up, touch the knees to your arms. Hips up high, look forward, lean forward, go slow. But lift your feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels toward your seat.
Now from here to the one-legged crow, shift your weight to the right. See about lifting your left knee, maybe squeeze your left leg right, and maybe extend that left leg up and back. Take it slow, take it to where you can. And then go take it through another vinyasa when you're ready. Once you find your down dog, move around and breathe here. All right, we'll take the next sequence. With your next inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. Bend your right knee, hang the right foot left. Find that scorpion dog again. With an inhale, straighten up three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to right elbow. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Stay forward like this. Stay lifted. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, set the right foot down halfway down the mat. Left knee to your chest. Curl everything in. Find that half tuck. Dig your fingertips now. Shoulders stay over your wrist. Keep looking down. And let's go back and forth. Press into your right foot. Land on the left. Press into the left foot. Land on the right. Press into the right foot. Come down on the left. Press into your left foot, land on the right. Press into the right foot, land on the left. One more time. Right foot between your hands, slide the left foot back, low lunge. And from here to your dancer's bridge, left hand to your base. Roll the outside of the left foot, right foot steps behind the left leg, sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up high. Reach with your right arm, keep your glutes squeezing, and just keep breathing here. Take an inhale. Exhale, sink straight down. Right hand forward, right foot forward, low lunge. Bring it down, left knee to the floor, left foot flat behind. Now sink your hips down, press them forward, press your torso into the right thigh, stay low, and just bring your hands to your hips. Now slowly from here, just go ahead, peel yourself up, bring your spine to vertical, and keep that left hip pulling forward, keep it sinking down. When you're ready here with an inhale, reach your arms up high. With the exhale, pull the elbows out wide and let your head fall back. Inhale, reach up, look forward. Exhale, open up, elbows wide. Inhale, reach up, look forward. Exhale, open up one more time, hold here. Draw the shoulder blades toward each other. Keep that left hip pulling forward. And just keep breathing here. Maybe kick into the left foot and try to lift your left knee just a little bit. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, both hands down inside your right leg. Tuck the toes of your left foot, lift your left knee. We're going to open this up to a horse stance. With an inhale, just drop the left heel, bring your hands to your hips. You're opening up to the left side. Give yourself a moment to move into this. It's a wide-legged squat. Now heels in, toes out. Bring the hips down low, thighs toward parallel to the floor. And then bring your torso toward upright. Hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers, pull the palms together. Keep your shoulders drawn back and keep your chest open. Now from here, we'll take it back and forth to balancing. Put the weight to the left foot and lean left. Right heel to left knee, hold here. And then step it wide, sink back into horse. Weight to your left foot, lean left. Right heel to the left knee, hold. Step it wide, sink back down. Weight to your left foot, right heel to the left knee, stay here. And move into a figure four, right ankle past your left thigh. Now keep the toes of the right foot curled, keep the knee to the side, sink your hips down. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Ooh, let's see if I can balance it here. Now if you can take it further, maybe hinge from the hips and lower over that lifted shin. Maybe press your knuckles toward the ceiling. Take it to where you can. All right, slowly, if you fold it, bring your torso upright, and then release it. Step the right foot wide, come back down into horse. Now keep your chest open, keep your shoulders pulled back, and from here, we'll just take it side to side, lift your left heel. Now pivot to the right and dip your left knee down low. Keep your spine vertical best you can. Lift back up, heels down, back to horse. Right heel up, pivot to the left. Dip your right knee down low. Lift back up, both feet flat. Left heel up, turn to the right, dip your left knee down. Bring it straight up and set that foot flat. Right heel up, turn to the left and dip your knee down low. Lift up and come back into horse. Left heel up, turn to the right, dip your left knee down, come all the way down this time. Huh? 
Once you're down, bring both hands to the floor inside your right leg. Now, we're setting, setting this up for a kneeling warrior to swing the left foot over to the right side of the mat. Hands to hips and everything stacks are vertical from the left knee up. Right knee bent, line the right heel up with your left knee more or less. Now, you can walk that right foot as far forward as you like as long as the foot stays flat. Now, take a half bind, lift, bring the left arm behind your low back, palm facing away. Reach your right arm forward past the right knee, palm facing up. Keep both feet pressing down and go back and forth. Inhale, reverse, reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend it forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse this. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend one more time, stay forward. Now bring the right hand down to the floor inside the right leg. Left shoulder high, good enough here. And keep pushing to the inner right thigh. If you can go deeper, bend the right elbow, sink further down. If you can go further still, reach underneath the right leg, find that full bind, bring both hands together behind you. But keep your left shoulder high, keep the right thigh pulled in close. And just breathe here, however deep you take this. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, just bring both hands down to the floor inside your right leg. Now go ahead, press in your palms, tuck the toes of your left foot. Bring your hips up high and set the left foot flat. Now we're going to build half moon from the ground up. Right hand comes around your right foot over to the side. Keep that hand on the floor. Left hand to your left hip. Now bring the weight to the right foot. Lift the left, stay open to your left side. And just keep the left shoulder, left hip stacked above the right. Now, maybe your right knee's bent, straighten that leg if you can. You can open up and reach your left arm high. If you can take it further, bend your left knee, reach with your left hand, find the foot, and if you have that grip, kick into your hand. And keep everything open and stacked to the left side. Keep breathing here. Now, take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now from your fold, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. With the exhale, set your hands, when to take it back to crow. Dig your fingertips down, heels up, bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward, lean, go slow, keep your hips high. Lift your feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels in close. And then from here for that one-legged crow, shift your weight to the left. See about lifting your right knee. Maybe pull the right leg left, and then maybe extend your right leg up and back. Just take it to where you can go here. When you're ready, take another vinyasa. All right, let's go ahead and even that out. With your next inhale, raise the left leg high behind you. And then bend your left knee, hang the left foot right. Find that scorpion dog one more time. Stack your hips. With an inhale, straighten your left leg through like a dog. Exhale forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale knee to left elbow, stay forward like this, stay lifted. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring the left foot down, halfway down the mat. Right knee to your chest, half tuck, curl in. Press into your palms, keep your shoulders or wrists, dig the fingertips down. And then press into your left foot, land on the right. Press into the right foot, come down to the left. Press into your left foot, land on the right. Press into the right foot, come down to the left. Press into the left foot, land on the right, one more time. Left foot down between your hands, slide the right foot back, low lung. From here to Dancer's Bridge, right hand's your base. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot, left foot steps behind the right leg, sink down. With an inhale, press your hips up high, reach to that left arm. Keep your glutes squeezing, keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. With your exhale, sink this straight down. Left hand forward, left foot forward, low lunge. Take it down lower, right knee down, right foot flat behind, sink your hips down, press them forward, push your torso into your left thigh, stay low, and then bring your hands to your hips. Now slowly from here, just peel your torso up and bring your spine toward vertical. Right hip pressing forward, both hips still sinking down. Now with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, elbows out wide, let your head fall back. Inhale, reach up, look forward. 
Exhale, open up, elbows wide. Inhale, reach up, look forward. Exhale, open up, elbows wide, hold here. Draw the shoulder blades toward each other. Keep that right hip pushing forward. Maybe kick into the right foot and lift the right knee. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring both hands down inside your left leg. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee. And from here, we'll open this up to the horse stance again. So with an inhale, just drop the right heel and bring your hands to your hips. Open up to the right side. And just move around. Heels in, toes out, hips, low thighs toward parallel with the floor. Once you got the lower body ready, bring your hands to your low back and find the inner lace that feels strange. Opposite what you just had. So pull the palms toward each other, keep your shoulders drawn back and keep your chest open. And from here, let's go ahead and take it. Set. Well, no, let's take it into balancing. That's what we're going to do. Put the weight to the right foot, lean right. Left heel to right knee, woo, hold your balance here. Step it wide, come back into horse. Again, weight to the right foot, left heel to right knee, hold. Step it wide and sink your hips. One more time, weight to the right foot, left heel to right knee, hold this here. And then find your figure four, left ankle past the right thigh. Curl the toes, left foot, keep your shoulders pulled back, sink into the hips. If you can go further, hinge from the hips. Maybe bring your torso down low over that lifted shin. And maybe press your knuckles toward the ceiling. All right, slowly, if you fold it, bring your torso toward upright. And then go ahead, release the figure four. Step your left foot wide, come back down into horse. Heels in, toes out, keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your spine upright. And let's take it side to side, pivoting here. Lift the right heel. Pivot to the left and dip your right knee down low. Keep your torso upright. Lift back up, both feet flat. Lift your left heel, turn to the right. Dip your left knee down low. Come back up and bring that heel to the floor. Right heel up, pivot to the left. Dip your right knee down. Come back up, both feet flat. Left heel up, pivot to the right, dip your left knee down low. And then lift up, come back into horse. Right heel up, pivot to the left, bring the right knee all the way down. And then once you're down, bring the hands to the floor inside your left leg. Now for that kneeling warrior two, sweep the right foot over the left side of the mat. Hands to your hips and everything's vertical from the right knee up this time. Now, left knee bent, left heel in line with your right knee. You can walk that left foot as far forward as you like as long as you can keep the foot flat. Now take a half bind, right arm behind your low back, keep the shoulder drawn behind you. Reach your left arm past your left knee, palm open toward the ceiling. Both feet pressing down. With an inhale, reverse this, reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend it forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse this. With the exhale, extend forward, stay forward, and bring your left hand down inside the left leg. Keep the right shoulder high. This is enough. Now, if you can go deeper, bend your left elbow, sink further down. Deeper still, reach underneath your left leg and bring the hands together, find your full bind. Right shoulder high, look up toward the ceiling, keep the left thigh pulling in, however deep you take this. Now take an inhale, and with the exhale, just release both hands to the floor inside your left leg. Now press into your palms, tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee and bring your hips up high, set that right foot flat for a moment, and then take this into your half moon. So left hand comes around your left foot, keep that hand on the floor, right hand to the right hip, put the weight to the left foot, lift the right, stay open to your right side, right shoulder high and right hip higher than the left. Now if your left knee's bent, see about straighten the leg as much as you can, maybe open up and reach your right arm high. If you're going to bind this, bend the right knee, reach with your right hand, find the foot, and just use that to open up further to the side. Kick into that hand if you find that grip. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Both hands down, both feet down, forward, fold. And then from your fold, take an inhale, lift up halfway. With the exhale, set your hands. We're going to take it back to crow one more time. Dig your fingertips down, lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward, lean, go slow. But lift your feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels in close. Now for your one-legged crow, shift your weight to the right. See about lifting your left knee. Maybe squeeze the left leg right. And if you want to take it further, maybe extend that left leg up and back. Keep your hips high, take it to where you can. And then take it to your last vinyasa when you're ready. All 
All right, from your down dog, we'll go to half pigeon. So with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. With the exhale, bring that forward. Right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Go ahead, bring your left knee down, flatten the left foot behind you. Pull that left hip forward, keep it in line with the right, and sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of that stretch in the outer right hip or toward the glutes on that side. Now you can keep yourself upright. You can go deeper toward the back bend. You can always just melt it down if you want to just take it easy. So just take it away, Cam, and take the variation that suits you best right now. All right, now from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. We're going to take another pose. So I want you to pull your belly in, drag your left knee forward, and we're going to take this into a camel variation. And ideally, camel with a figure four. So give this a try, see if this will work. Bring the right ankle past your left thigh. I'm going to recommend you keep the toes of the right foot tucked, and then push into that left leg and bring your right knee out to the side. Now, if you feel any twinge in the right knee, just take your regular camel, both knees down with the shins in line. But either way, bring yourself upright and bring your hands to your hips. Now engage your glutes and push your hips forward. And if you've got your legs crossed, make sure that right hip's pushing forward. This could be enough. If you're going to go further, hands to heart center. And then just go ahead, walk your gaze up, find the point in the ceiling that's above you, and release your shoulders to the floor. Keep your hips pushing forward. This is plenty. If you want to go further, bring your gaze toward the wall behind and maybe even take it further. You can lift your elbows toward the ceiling. Maybe start to reach your hands back a little bit. And maybe even extend your arms further. Glutes still engaged. Hips still pushing forward. Keep breathing here. All right, and then draw it back in, hands to heart center. Bring your gaze to the wall in front, and then just release this and come down into all fours. When you're ready here, we'll take the other side. So just bring yourself up to down dog. And then with an inhale, raise your left leg, raise your left leg high. With the exhale, bring it forward. Left knee behind your left wrist, ankle somewhere behind the right. Right knee down, right foot flat behind. Pull that right hip forward, keep your hips square to the front. And again here, just sink your weight straight down. Now look for, look for at least some of that stretch on the left side, out of the left hip or toward the glutes. And again, you can stay upright. You can go further toward the back bend. You can always melt it down. Take it to where you like. All right, and again from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. Pull your belly in, drag that right knee forward. Let's see about the camel variation on this side. So bring the left ankle past your right thigh, tuck the toes of your left foot, press into the right thigh, and get your left knee out to the side. And just see if this works. Again, if you feel a twinge in the knee, just take the regular version with your knees in line, with your knees on the floor, and your, and your shins in line is what I should say. Now, either way, bring yourself upright, hands to your hips, engage your glutes, be sure to push that left hip forward. And then to take it further, hands to heart center. Bring your gaze up to the ceiling. Hips pushing forward. Release your shoulders to the floor. This is plenty. If you're going to go further, bring your gaze toward the wall behind. Maybe lift the elbows toward the ceiling. Open up your chest. Maybe reach your arms a little bit or maybe a lot, but still with your hips pressing forward and still with the glutes engaged. Keep breathing here. All right, 
pull it back in, hands to heart center, bringing gaze to the wall in front, and then again, release this to all fours. From all fours, we're going to take this into go, in a Galavasana. So go ahead, bring the, not Galavasana, Gomukhasana, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, bring the right knee forward to the center of the mat. Right foot to the left, and then cross your legs. Pull the left knee in tight and bring your feet out wide. As your legs squeeze together, come down to sitting between your heels. Take a moment to get both sit bones down. And if you need to back off, you can do this with the left leg extended and the right leg crossed over. Now for the arm bind from below, right arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. With your left hand reach, you can find the wrist, maybe to the elbow, whatever you can grip. Pull the right shoulder back, sit this up tall, and keep your chest open like this. Now if you want the full arm bind, bring the right hand up between the shoulder blades. Left arm comes from above. And see about Ooh, finding that grip somewhere in between. Now, wherever you take this to, again, shoulders back, push your sternum forward, keep your chest open, just sit up tall, and then squeeze the legs together, keep your feet pushing down, and just breathe here. Whatever set of stretches you can get yourself into with this. Take a deep inhale. With the exhale, just release your arm bind. Set your hands down behind you, lean back, untangle the legs, and then just cross the ankles. Come forward into all fours. And we'll take the other side from here. So bring your left knee forward to the center of the mat, left foot to the right. Pull the right knee into the left, cross your legs, and bring the feet out wide. Now again from here, legs squeezing together, come down to sitting between your heels. Take a moment, both sit bones down. Now for the arm bind, left arm crosses the low back, palm facing away. Reach with the right hand, find the wrist, the elbow, whatever you're able to grip and draw that left shoulder back. Keep your chest open, sit this up tall. This is plenty here. If you can take the full bind, left hand up between the shoulder blades, right arm from above. And then again, see about finding that grip somewhere in between. Shoulders back, sternum forward, sit up tall. Keep your legs squeezing, keep your feet pushing down and keep breathing. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, release the arm bind again. Set your hands down behind you. Ooh. Lean back, untangle the legs. And then bring yourself down onto your back this time. Now once you're down, pull your knees and your chest, squeeze everything in tight. And then let's take happy baby. Go ahead, reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. And then stack the ankles above the knees and pull down. Draw the knees toward the floor outside your ribs. Push your feet up into your hands at the same time and keep the tension working both up and down. Flatten your spine, sink your tailbone down toward the floor. If you want to take it further, you can rock a little bit side to side like this. And if you want to take it further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, when you're ready here, take a deep inhale and draw down as much as you can. And with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And then just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat.
and then let yourself move again here bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then pull it all back in, bring the elbows to your chest, draw the knees up as well. And just find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself into the mat here, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. And then take a deep inhale. Hold on to it at the top. And just let everything go. Now, thank you for joining class. Namaste.